Hi, Elisa George from CenterWorks.com with today's pulse power training exercise from the Daily Dozen, and it's going to be the rotisserie pulse. The rotisserie pulse exercise is actually one of my very favorite e twisting exercises. You're going to get a fabulous amount of work in your middle if you're able to find and do this exercise correctly. A lot of times when we think about doing twisting exercises, we actually end up doing things that side bend and twist more than that just twist and then bend. So the goal with the rotisserie pulse is to feel kind of like you're a chicken on a spit, getting that nice even turn all the way through the spine as you're doing exercise. It's not about how far you go. It's not about how high you lift. It's about how efficiently you're able to get those vertebrae in your spine to move turning in a rotation fashion. All right. So starting position is going to be with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Arms are going to go behind your head to help support your head and shoulders. You're going to curl up into the KG curl position that you were for the first exercise. And the goal is to hold this KG curl and then begin your rotisserie pulse. So turn to the right for me as far as you can turn. That's it. Stay right here. And the twist comes from the bottom of your waist up. So it's a little tiny turning action with the whole spine. Important that you keep your elbows still and turn from the waist to the back of the head. The whole thing. And the head likes to crank yourself around. The shoulders like to pull. So be sure it's from the bottom to the top. And turn, turn. This side goes down while this side goes up, so the whole rib cage has to turn. Good. That's it. Last five, four, three, two, and relax. I need to change the camera angle so that you can see Tanya do this <laughs> because she needs a little help cleaning it up. <laughs> when you turn, you're actually turning and lengthening as you twist. So I don't, I, you're not getting closer together, but you're actually getting farther apart on the side that's getting closer to the floor. So you have to work on keeping the distance, but your whole rib cage from the bottom of your ribs all the way up to your armpit needs to go down on one side for the other side to come up. Because if you were on a, on a spit turning, the whole body would have to turn. So come back up and let's try it again. Go to the other side. And inhale and exhale, good. So you can't get longer on this side. Nope, pull it back. There, there's your position. And as you go around, you can't get longer. You have to drop that whole side down. That's it. And you gotta start that drop down from here, through here, all the way up to the pit. Good, hold it right there. And now turn, 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 turn. Pull this down. Pull this down. There we go. Pull this down. That's better. Do you feel a difference in your belly? Oh, yeah. Pull down here. Down and turn. Down and turn. That's it. Nice job. And back to the center. And relax. The rotisserie pulse can be a little finicky to get into a good position, but boy, when you get it, there's a beautiful X position work of work and support that will be going on in your middle to get a good twist. So give this one a try. Tweak and fine tune it a little bit. Strive not to pull with your arms, but try and make the work happen from your belly. Bottom of the spine working up to the top to get a good little pulse going. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>